Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to come your way again with another video. I'm sure you are all doing fine. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I appreciate it. I want to say compliment of the season to everybody. And uh, I want to say that it's been good to have the opportunity to celebrate. How did you enjoy your boxing day yesterday? I hope you had a good time. In today's video, I'm talking about the, the Super Eagle squad for the coming uh, African, Cup of, African Cup of Nations. Yes, we are all aware that 40 months squad has been put together by the coach and the, and, uh, the football authority. But I'm talking today about players that are likely to be dropped from the 40 months Super Eagle squad for the African Cup of Nations. But before I go further into that, let me say you are most welcome to this channel. It's a channel to play. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell, so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos. And also help to share this video if it's possible for you to do. Okay? All right, now, and to all my amazing subscribers, the new and the returning one, I want to appreciate your love and your, your support on the channel. Thank you so very much. I sincerely appreciate it. I sincerely appreciate it. Please watch the video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share it. Okay? Right now, let's dive into the G's that we have to share together at this moment. Players that will likely be dropped from Super Eagles 40 man squad. Players that are likely to be dropped from the 40 man Super Eagles squad. You know, of course, you know that not all of them will make it. Joseph Pesero has released a 40-man professional squad for African Cup of Nations in January, but he will eventually have to trim it down to 27 players. So the Super Eagles will be looking to win the fourth African crown in the Africa Coast next January when the African Cup of Nations begins. However, they will have to navigate their way through this group stage and, of course, they will have to defeat other top African teams to emerge champions. Ahead of the competition, all 24 participating countries have already released their provisional squad in Nigeria. Joseph Pesero named a 40-man provisional squad for the competition. Conference of African Football has set 3rd of January as the deadline for all countries to release their final 27-man list. And judging by the quality of the players in the squad, Jose Pesero might have a tough time picking his final list. Nevertheless, there are still some players who are sure of their sport of their sports. Players like uh, Victor Sime, uh, Fulham, Sir Alex Iwobi, Victor Boniface, and of course <laughs> uh, Francis Susoru. On the other hand, guys, there are some players who will have to fight hard to get a place in the in the squad. And I'm talking, I'm looking at some players. Maybe let me talk about five players who may not make the final list put together by Joseph Pesero. You know, in no particular order, these are some of the players I think may not make the team. Emmanuel Dennis, the Nottingham Forest home forward, is currently on loan at Turkish club Istanbul. Still, he has not done anything worthy of note at the club. In the first instance, he has been out of the national team for months, and many fans question his inclusion in the team instead of gift Urban. Unless he pulls off a miracle, it is tough to see him in Ivory Coast. Another player is Sire Dessa. Dessa has been in decent form since coach Philip Clement became the coach of Rangers. The Nigerian striker has registered his goals and won answers in his last seven games for Rangers. Unfortunately, his chances of making the team are very, very slim because of the number of top strikers available to Joseph Pesero, like uh, 
Terry Murphy, Victor Boniface, Victor Osimen, Sadik Uma, and Kelechi Ihenachi are all ahead of in the hierarchy. Except any of them gets injured, this uh, may have to watch the Super Eagles from Scotland, his, his club side base. Then we have uh, Amos Obasuge. Emma Basuge is having a good campaign with MPFL club, Bend Insurance of Benin. But it will be tough for him to make the team because of the other goalkeepers available for, I mean, to Jose Pesero. The Portuguese seems to have a strong link liking for Francis So and Adebayo Adeleye. And uh, while Bali is primed to be part of the squad. So, Obasagi, we just have to be this time. Then we have Christian Woke. Woke is also in the goalkeeping department. And just like Obasagi, the Sporting Lagos goalkeeper will have to watch the game from Lagos because of the serious affection to look at these players. Then another player that will be likely means out is Tom Delebashiro. Delebashiro is one of the new players in the Super Eagle squad. He has one camp for Nigeria, but it's unlikely that he will make the team because he's here to prove himself. The 22-year-old attacking midfielder has been decent for a task for this season with four goals and two assists in this Super League. But he may have to wait some more before he can play at African Cup of Nations. Guys, that's all I have to share with you at this moment. Enjoy the best of this festive moment. Thank you very much. I wish you happy Christmas, uh, uh, happy New Year in advance. Thank you very much. Till I come your witness, I will turn that video. Bye bye.